different. It's uh, more active. To town and feed the dogs and look about and on the bus. I don't mind them. <laughs> they they can Uber. <laughs> they can Uber. Yeah. I think when people when we have people uh, move into a home, it's they've got to feel home. They've got to feel this is home. Um, and this is comfortable, you know, this is where I want to be. And obviously with Stuart, I mean, Stuart's a perfect person to talk to in that way, because he came from, he wasn't very happy at all in his old house. Um, he then moved here and, you know, now he, he's like, he, he's got that freedom and you can see it in him. He's got that freedom and he's in control of what he wants, what he wants to do and he's comfortable. You know, he goes to bed when he wants, he gets up when he, and that's, that's how it should be. Supported living in terms of particularly younger people with learning disabilities, physical disabilities or sensory impairment is about us ensuring that everybody has the opportunity to live as an independent life as they possibly can. Um, it's true to say that in Worcestershire and other parts of the country, people with learning disabilities particularly have quite often found themselves after education in residential care if family can't have them living at home with them. Um, what we've created an opportunity to do and have been very successful is giving people that choice. This is TV and DVDs. This is my mate's my mate hat room and this is my other mate's room and this is my room. The war is as developed because it's my favourite football team. My family and and we got my PlayStation and my picture of my girlfriend. In supported living sometimes it's quite hard for people that move into supported living and we do know that some of our families find it quite difficult to let young people go and live into houses like this. Yeah. Even though Chris has only been with us a short while, yeah. mum and dad have um, really pleased with the progress of Chris from where he was before <coughs> to now. As people live longer with a learning disability, it may come to the point where their families are no longer able to support them at home. So we want to ensure that we've got an offer that gives them a transition into living more independently in either shared houses or shared clusters that then gives them a sense of what happens in their next stage of their life. And we say we're not mum and dad and we can't care for you like mum and dad. But we're close. But we're really close. <laughs> We want to foster their sense of independence and make them as able to live a fulfilling life as possible. Um, so unlike in residential care where quite often you've got packages of care and support workers with you 24-7, um, supported living means that if you're able to go out into the community you can do that with support or not. Um, but you're living in a place that has people around should you need them. We support five adults um, to live here, to live as independently as possible, so we cater for um, predominantly for adults with severe learning and physical disabilities. We've seen a change in the people living here and over the last two years since changing to supported living we've seen such a positive change in people's demeanour, in their um, just basically in everyday life, happy, smiley, singing, um, really relaxed in their environment. Um, and I think that's down to them having that one-to-one -one support that we can give them um, and the staff team that are surrounding them as well, making sure that you know they do have that rapport and making them feel welcome and comfortable and at home.
Supporting living, particularly for people with learning disabilities, that can be for some people who are really quite independent, need a little bit of support, up to people that have really profound and multiple physical and learning disabilities. So it's a range. Um, we have to make sure that people are compatible living with each other. Um, so I think the newer developments have allowed us to take the best practice nationally and internationally and make it what we need it to be for the people of Worcestershire. Fourteen people live here and um, they've got um, inside their own bedroom, their own flat. Their needs are just like for independence so basically it's just developing them on to go out into the community, um, develop their own life skills, money, um, shopping, exercise etc. Yes, yeah, my first time and I live in the care home. I lived in the care home before I moved in and I got a social worker wants me to move to the flat, so I moved in to March. It's really good, nice people, friendly people, friendly stuff. They help me do my once to ones they help me do cleaning my flat, food shopping, we go out trips. They know that they can just come, in, come and go, that there is their home, but I feel as well they've also got that reassurance of knowing that staff is on hand to help them. As we swap shifts, we're basically doing a handover, checking how everyone is. We have parents' phone of how their son and daughters are. We have um, parents ask what things are upcoming, or they might, for instance, want to check, um, change their care packages. When it's my free time, I play my game, PS4, and I watch a bit of TV and watch a bit of soaps. I go outside, play football in the garden and have a barbecue. We've got staff to look after, look after us and we've got downstairs door to lock the doors and we've got the code, put your stamped key in. Well, it's good that like, I can do things on my own now. Mm. I think it's giving people opportunities that maybe most of us would have expected to have had maybe earlier in our lives. I think it's really important for young people coming through transitions from education for they and their parents to see that they can have an independent life that may involve voluntary work, going out to work with support but also meaningful activities and actually I think it's also about having a group of friends and building those natural friendship groups which maybe previously hadn't been possible for them so um, we are really pleased and have lots of positive feedback about the advantages of supported living for people. I think, yes. And has it worked for you living here? Yes, it is. You'll see your family member grow. That's, what, that's all I can say. You'll see your family member grow and they actually have the opportunity to become adults. We've seen such a positive change in people's demeanour. Basically in everyday life, happy, smiley, singing. Well, it's good. Like I can do things on my own now.